Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are going to be checking out character profiles for each of the eight smiling critters who make up the brand new characters potentially due to appear in the upcoming third chapter of episodic mascot horror game Poppy Playtime. In addition to going through each of these characters' bios, we'll also be analysing a selection of brand new screenshots for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 that shed light on some of the exciting and highly creepy new locales we must venture into as we continue our journey through the Playtime Co. factory. So sit back, relax, and let's kick off this video with a look at each of the smiling critters and their respective backstories. We were recently introduced to a group of new animal-themed mascots known as the Smiling Critters by way of a 90s-inspired kids' cartoon show episode that took a decidedly creepy turn. For a full breakdown of that show and the surrounding ARG, check out this video. I'll leave a link at the end of this one. The Smiling Critters seem to be plushy-like toys created by Playtime to help children sleep soundly by night, each one featuring a different charm around its neck attached to a zipper, that allowed parents to install a scented item within. These scents were no doubt soothing, and aided in helping their owners sleep. However, the living versions of these mascots, notably Catnap, secretly created and used in the orphan experiments within the depths of a playtime factory, had a far more sinister purpose, dispelling a toxic red smoke that put the orphans to sleep when used in small doses but could kill if administered in too great an amount. Hence why we must use the new gas mask upgrade to safely navigate areas flooded with said smoke in Chapter 3. So with their origins explained, let's now take a look at 8 character profiles released by Mob which fill us in on the backstories of each of these critters. Bubba Bubbafunt is the brains of the critters. Bright and attentive, he keeps his friends steady and always steers them to make smart choices. That way they all might grow up to be bright and brilliant, each in their own right. His scent is lemongrass. Bobby Bearhug A kind, caring soul, Bobby Bearhug shows compassion for everyone, and for everything. People and places and things large or small are all receivers of her love. Each is enriched by this attention and affection, and in turn, so is she. Her scent is Rose. Crafty Corn A conscious observer of both colour and creativity in the world, Crafty Corn understands the importance of art and sharing it with others. Crayons, pencils, paint, or words on the page, Crafty Corn can see beauty in anything imagined given shape. Her scent is Jasmine. Kickin' Chicken this is Kickin' Chicken, the cool kid of a crew, and he maintains that sense of cool throughout anything, even the most tense of situations. Knock him down and he'll pick himself up, brush himself off and ask, what's next? His scent is Lang Lang. Dog Day This is Dog Day, the sunny, strong and determined leader of our critters. Each trusts him to find the bright side in any situation, and to have a friendly word of encouragement should they feel down. He'll always keep his friends going, no matter what. His scent is vanilla. Picky Piggy What's more important than play and learning? Picky Piggy knows the answer. A playful body and keen mind are fueled by what's put in them, which is why she encourages her friends to eat a well-balanced diet. Secretly, PB&Js are her favourite food. Her scent is citrus. Hoppy Hopscotch Unafraid to hop where others might sit, Hoppy is the friend everybody needs to maintain their energy and enthusiasm. While sometimes loud and impatient, she'll always hop beside her friends, even if it means slowing up once in a while to keep their pace. Her scent is peppermint. And finally we have Catnap. Catnap is a calming presence for the critters, and ensures he and his friends always have the right amount of sleep to jumpstart the morning's play. End of the day, there's nothing Catnap enjoys more than watching his friends sleep soundly. His scent is lavender. And there you have it, we now know about each of the scents associated with these new mascots, as well as having a general idea about their personalities and character traits. Whether we will encounter more than just Catnap in Chapter 3 remains to be seen, 
But considering Mob has teased multiple new enemies with different behaviour types, it seems likely we will see at least a few of these critters, both friendly and hostile, while exploring the upcoming episode. To end this video, let's turn our attention to a selection of brand new screenshots that recently went live on the Chapter 3 Steam Store page. These showcase a host of new environments, as well as giving some teases as to what we may expect to encounter in what's sure to be the most terrifying and sinister entry in the Poppy Playtime series to date. The first screenshot is one of the most chilling. It seems to be set within the confines of the Home Sweet Home Orphanage, that at least part of this upcoming chapter is to be set within. At the far side of a room we see a pile of debris, made up from jagged pipes, planks of wood and mechanical gears. On closer inspection this debris appears to be neatly arranged to form pikes that a selection of unfortunate toy mascots now find themselves impaled on. Most of these mascots seem to be Bunzo Bunny clones, though we also see a Bron and Boogie Bot strung up above. The floor is caked in blood splatter. This horrifying scene seems to be some kind of ritualistic offering. A selection of sacrifices for Catnap perhaps, offered up by the other creatures who serve him. We've had many hints of a cult-like following surrounding Catnap as discussed in our previous video. This gruesome offering seems to be further evidence of that. The next image shows off a dimly lit but grandiose entrance hall. I believe that this is either the entrance to the train station running from Playcare to the game station, or the entrance to the Playcare itself. We see a large bloodstained statue of Huggy, and around the feet of the statue, another group of massacred toys. We can also see that this area features vegetation, in the form of these bushes and trees. It seems Playtime Co. tried their best to make the orphans feel as comfortable as possible, despite their dire circumstances. A poster on the left wall shows the mascots dancing, and reads, Let's Boogie, suggesting that, wherever these steps lead, is somewhere adventurous and fun, or at least is intended to give that impression to the children headed there. There's not too much to say about this third image. It seems to be set within the playcare, within a very dark and ominous looking playmate. We can see a slide through the broken archway ahead. This may well be one of the locations Catnap will stalk us through as we attempt to escape his toxic smoke. Catnap or no, I'm pretty sure something spooky will be lurking within this playmate. Screenshot 4 is one of the most interesting of the bunch. It depicts a medical room of sorts. Beside each of the beds, we can see a sanitation station. These are typically used by nurses to wash their hands before and after treating patients, as well as of course for cleaning the patient themselves. Judging by the mascots stenciled on the wall behind the bed, and the plushies laying atop the sheets, we can deduce that this is a room used to care for the orphan children after potential accidents occurred much like the one that befell Theodore Grendel, whose accident and backstory we covered in the previous video. We can also see a vent surrounded by scratch marks. Something seems to have tried to access this vent. Perhaps something too big to fit inside. Perhaps something that will soon be chasing us. The final screenshot seems to be located within the previously teased schoolhouse area. Last time we were shown the interior of a classroom, and this time we get a sneak peek at the halls outside. At the far side of a hall we see a message scrawled in blood, which reads, The Hour of Joy. This phrase has been teased many times in the lead up to Chapter 3's release, and we now know it almost certainly refers to the hour in which Catnap dispels his red smoke, causing those who inhale it to burst into fits of hysterics before crashing into a deep sleep, or worse. We can also see some cartoon character themed school lockers, backpacks, books and calculators as well as educational smiling critters posters. All of this detail telling us that this is indeed the schoolhouse location. A grab pack point suggests we'll need to connect at the power to access various areas within this schoolhouse, and we may be doing this under pressure if those smiling critters are on patrol. And with that, we've come to the end of this video, going over all of the latest information from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it both entertaining and informative. 
We will of course be doing a full playthrough of Chapter 3 as soon as it drops, as well as a Story Explained, Monsters Explained and Secrets video. So if you're looking forward to Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, be sure you're subscribed and have those notifications turned on. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.